And now this is a configuration page for KPP, and this is in super mode, the presets 10 and also 11. It's a little different between 10 and 11. For the presets, for the page 10, we have this A, B, C, D, and this one can be treated as E. So 21, 22, and 25. Long press, these two can go up and down. Uh, let's jump to the first page. So this is the first one. Two, three, four, five. And this two expression pattern, this one is for wire control, and this one is for volume. Also, we have this encoder works as an CC for the gain control. The first row is for slot A, on and off, slot B, on and off, and the delay on and off, reverb on and off. This two is the same, so I need to... And this one is for the tapping. Also, by long press this one, you can turn out of the tuner. So that's the configuration for page 10. Mm -hmm. Then we can go to page 11. So you can change when you're doing the perform. And this is not like the normal mode. You need to restart the device to go to another configuration. So by long press these two buttons, you can go through all the pages. So this page 11, it's more simple. It's all for the program change. And uh, so these 10 buttons represent 10 presets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 you can go to another bank so from 5 6 and to 11 so still the bank is grouped by 5 so anytime you can access to one of the 10 presets by one foot and even more you can configure the buttons by yourself with a key times like key times equals 2 and the second time you press this button you can let the tone goes to another one so all the 10 buttons actually can access 20 presets also, we should know that in super mode still, we control the KPP with a one-way communication and just uh, So somehow when you do the module control, maybe you need hit twice if you don't know the initial state of the module. As you may know, we also have a dedicated firmware just for KPP with two-way communication. And if you update to that firmware, you can control KPP in a higher level. So the benefit of super mode is you have all the pages for many, many devices. And if you have the dedicated firmware for KPP, you can even show the name of the presets and also get the real state of the modules and which could have been a better control.